What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today is the day that we are going to get the strange brakes put on the front of my white turbo Fox body. As you can see, we got it pretty much laid out right here. So what we're gonna actually do in this video, we're going to compare the Cobra SN95 brakes to the strange brakes that we just picked up the other week. And then we're gonna give you an accurate comparison on how much weight we're gonna lose in the front of our Fox body Mustang. If you enjoy that sort of stuff, hit that like and subscribe below and let's get into weighing some items. Now, if you've been following along with the channel, you guys know that we purchased some RC comp wheels, rear double bead locks, and we did save some weight on the front bumper with the crash bar. So the next iteration of our weight reduction for the Turbo Fox body is to put our brakes on. So what we're gonna do with our trusty little digital scales, best we can, is we're going to weigh each component of the strange front brake kit, and we're gonna compare it right here on our little whiteboard so we got accurate measurements of what they'd weigh. And then at the end, you know, everything is times two, right? Because you got a left and a right side. So we're just gonna do one side weight. It's gonna be pretty much the same for both sides. Let's just get into weighing some items. All right, so the first things that we will weigh is the calipers themselves. Uh, it doesn't matter, driver side, passenger side, they're gonna be the same. This looks like it's two pounds, we'll call it 15 ounces. We're gonna round up a little bit everything two pounds about 15 ounces so we're just going to round that up got a little whiteboard over here so caliper will go two pounds 15 ounces uh, we might add to it little things we might find on the way with like miscellaneous hardware but for the most part you're going to get an accurate weight savings on how much they, at least the strange front brake kit did for your fox body so the second thing we're going to weigh is the hub bearing now notice that the studs aren't actually in there just yet but i did start them out in the hub bearing so it doesn't matter where they're at um, the hub bearing on the car will have its studs on it already so this will be a nice accurate reading here four pounds we'll call it nine ounces for this one and then uh, we'll just go ahead and stick the other one on with the bagged studs yeah four pounds nine ounces same thing so minus the plastic so we'll come over here hub bearing with studs four pounds nine ounces each now i'm putting each because at the end we will just multiply by two because there's two sides left and right so the next item we're going to weigh is the actual rotor and if you notice the rotor has a direction one side goes to the left side one side goes to the right uh, but that's not important right now they should be pretty much the same weight as we're going to go ahead and stick it on the, the digital scale here and it weighs in at seven pounds we'll call it four ounces we're rounding up remember now let's check the other one seven pounds three ounces we'll actually round down on this we'll just go seven pounds three ounces since we rounded up over here seven pounds three ounces each all right so the next thing we are going to add to this list is the brake pads so one side would be simply one pound two ounces total brake weight brake pad weight two pounds four ounces so that's brake pads for both sides of the car so we'll just put that as a total instead of having to multiply it by two so we'll go two pounds four ounces total and we'll make sure we circle this so we know not to multiply that one so the next item up is the caliper bracket itself which is the simple aluminum bracket here looks like we're at we'll call that 12 ounces we'll go total weight on this one as well looking at a total of one point we'll call it 1.9 ounces on the caliper bracket we'll do that as well nine ounces total so I guess if we multiply these by two, which we'll do this at the end or whatever, not a big deal. There's no uh, you know right or wrong answer in just doing this. I'm just doing this for actual data. So if somebody's actually switching the brake weight over. Uh, last thing we're gonna actually add is the miscellaneous hardware. Now this is your nuts and bolts of install and the caps for the hubs as well. That's all this little packs right here. And we'll make sure that whatever we take off, we'll put that in a pile too. So you got your hub bearing nuts, install caliper bracket, 
hardware, more hardware, and the caps. 1.7 ounces. One pound, seven ounces in hardware. So we'll go ahead and add that over here. That's a total as well, because that's for both sides. One pound, seven ounces. There you have it. So now we have all of our weights for all of our pieces that we're gonna be installing for the Strange. So the next iteration of the video is me taking the wheel off the front and we're gonna start, go ahead and switch over to second camera and we're gonna start disassembling some, uh, some of the parts that are on the front of the Fox body here. Once I get like all the hardware off on one spot, um, we'll go back through just like we just did on that table and we will uh, measure what's coming off. And we'll get a good accurate reading on or how much weight we're, we're saving by changing the front brakes. All right guys, so this is where we're at next with the disassembly of our front brakes, is we're gonna go ahead and get in here and uh, we're gonna take the, the hose off, uh, we'll take the caliper, the caliper bracket, and the rotor off, all that stuff comes off pretty quick. We're gonna have to pop this cap, and we're gonna have to take the hub bearing off. This stuff comes off pretty easy. I should have this disassembled in pretty much no time. Couple bolts, it is what it is. I'm not gonna put it, I might even put you on a time lapse or just shorten it up or whatever, so. Doesn't take very long. We'll know how much this stuff weighs on one side, uh, not including or limited to, we have to actually modify our spindle, which means we can't go backwards once we cut that the spindle off. All right, so we ended up getting the caliper, the caliper bracket, and the actual brake pads off the front, um, including some of the hardware here. One thing I did want to mention is you know, you can see how much drag, look at this, that wheel bearing just, look at that, look how much drag that is. Now, if I remember reading correctly, the strange one that I'm putting on here is not only aluminum, but uh, it's called a low drag bearing. I'm not real sure what that means. So maybe that uh, will give me a little bit of better rollout, right? So one of the things I was talking about with my spindle is I'm pretty sure this has to be cut to clear the actual caliper. I think it's this back one here. So um you know we'll check up on the instructions real quick but let me get the hub bearing off real quick and then we'll uh measure some stuff all right so now we're at the point to where we're going to start uh weighing some of the stuff that came off as we got most of the parts off from our disassembly the only other the only other things that we haven't taken off obviously is we haven't cut this yet and we're going to go ahead and leave the hose <clears throat> out of the equation because we're going to be putting another hose on anyways that pretty much weighs about the same so we're gonna get over here and we're gonna measure the rotor first. This is the Cobra rotor, the large Cobra rotor. It came to 18.8 pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and go up here on our board. So we're gonna go ahead and round it up to 19 pounds to make it even. Most likely that's probably for each side. All right, so the next thing we are going to weigh is the hub bearing and the studs. Five pounds. We'll call it six ounces. We've already got it wrote down five pounds, six ounces. Next, we will be doing the caliper. Caliper is four pounds even. That's what we'll call it. So come down here and put four pounds each. We'll do the brake pads now next. This is the PBR Cobra brake, as you can see right here. Next will be the pads. We'll call it one pound, 14 ounces. Put that in there, one pound, 14 ounces each. Now these are gonna be a little bit different like the rotors just because of wear and tear. And then last but not least, the caliper bracket. That includes the pin. Well, actually, we'll, we'll, put, we'll keep the pin with the miscellaneous stuff. Two pounds, we'll go two pounds, 10 ounces as we'll round that one up. Two pounds, 10 ounces each. So the last thing we're gonna measure, we put uh, number six on the board like we did on the other side was the miscellaneous hardware. And this is basically only the, you know, the two caliper brackets and the cap and, and you know, the, uh, the hub bearing nut itself. So got a little caliper pin in there as well. So we'll add that to the equation. Shouldn't be much. We'll call it 10 ounces. We'll leave the hoses off the equation because we got hoses over here and they'll pretty much offset each other for the most part. So we're not even gonna add that. We'll add 10 ounces 
each to miscellaneous hardware. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to add all this up really quick. Shouldn't be a big deal. As you've already seen, I've done this on this side. It came out to exactly 35 pounds total for, you know, both sides. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna go, uh, this will be 38. Um, that'll be 11.2. That'll be eight, 5.4. So here's all your here's all your totals. 38, 11.2, uh, we'll call that 49.2, 57.2, 61.2, 66.6, 67.10. So 67 and 10 ounces. So yeah, that's a lot of weight there. We also have to consider how much the piece is that we cut here out of the spindle. So we'll call it 68 pounds even versus 35 pounds so there's the weight redu reduction you have 33 pounds out of the front of your car of rotational mass unsprung weight uh, that's going to play its dividends just like the wheels did made a huge difference for me and just like the bumper did with straight up nose weight we're going to go ahead and get this installed now i'm going to go ahead and make the cut here this shouldn't take too long i'll set up the uh, the lines later and, and go um bleed the brakes or whatever but i just wanted you guys to get a a video where you know it actually shows you raw data on the sn95 spindles and the the cobra brakes i mean it's going to be pretty much the same with the sn95 rotors might be a little bit lighter but you're looking at saving at least you know 30 to 35 pounds on the front of your car so i think it's gonna make a big difference and it's gonna stop better so uh, anyways let me go ahead and finish setting up one side and then, you know, you can pretty much go from there from the video. We're not going to set up both sides in this video, just the one side. And uh, yeah, that's the install. All right, so we had something to pop out of here. We had an excess of fitting or whatever, but we're going to go ahead and chop this now. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get everything locked down and start locking the uh, pieces down. This stuff doesn't take very long. As you can see, got a couple spacers there. This kit actually came exactly the way it needed to be unbagged, as you can see. Uh, Strange already, you know, showed us where everything goes. No going back now. Got the ear cut off here. We're going to go ahead and wipe this all down and uh, install our bracket and our hub bearing. Pretty much that's it, guys. It's not really all that complicated. Got some hardware to put in it. Um, put it on the other video and we'll talk about it at the end. We had to run up to the store and grab a 36 millimeter socket to uh, finish out the strange uh, hub bearing here. And uh, we're gonna take this to 200 because that's where it tells me to torque it to, so. All right, so this is where we're at now. This is the passenger side. Now we gotta clean this off and we're going to line up the caliper. You wanna line up the caliper and shim it with the extra shims to make sure it's kind of center balanced or whatever. So we're gonna stick a couple lug nuts on here from the old setup. That way it keeps the, uh, the rotor from moving around. So we're moving right along, got the, got the rotor on, got the cap in there. Everything's torqued to, it's torqued to 200 foot pounds as it says in the instructions. So um, one thing I did want to mention is we're going to have to make sure that the caliper is spaced on the back here to make sure it's centered on this rotor. That's something that they explained about in the, in the directions. And we got a number of just shims for the caliper itself here. So uh, we went ahead and put the pads in here. It's got a little rail system that we got We're gonna have to tighten down once we get it uh, set up and, and centered But yeah, this is pretty much it. I think these are, these will be the washers for those bolts Obviously because there's four these little shim spacers. These aren't washers. These are actually Like shims from from strange and like I said what they want you to do here is to get the Caliper mounted get these all the way out and you want to center this rotor as it's locked down in its position so it's even contact there so that's what we're doing here on the back side with these you know the spacers go in between the bracket and the screw here so uh it'll center it out but outside of that you know hooking up the hose to my existing you know line that i had already made that's already aftermarket for the most part when i did the sn95 conversion 
Um, that's pretty much done. You know what I mean? Put the wheel on and you just start bleeding the brakes or whatever, which is kind of cool because there's like four bleeders on these strange brakes here. Uh, I don't know if you guys notice that or not. And <laughs> this is the direction. One thing about the install as well is the, the arrows go in the normal rotation and so doesn't the, the rotor as well. So. so I think we got this pretty much set. Um, just like the instructions tell you, you know, the rotor is centered. And for me, it took uh, two shims. We started with three, went down the one, and then came back with two. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tighten up this uh, this pad, little center pin, whatever you wanna call it, uh, just hand tighten it or whatever. And this brake is pretty much done. Just gotta you know, hook up my line and my hose or whatever, which we'll do. Very happy I got the master cylinder on in another video. Uh, it was bad, it was leaking. Um, so check that video out. Uh, we got all this installed right here. Guys, this is pretty much easy. I pretty much went step by step to get the strange brakes on a Fox body. Uh, most likely, you know, you could use, this kit does come for the Fox body uh, spindle and the SN spindle. And it's pretty much the same idea thing here. So I think they just have different hubs or something uh, for the spindle. I'm almost positive. So if you enjoy this sort of content, we went over the weights. So we saved a total of about 33 pounds in weight on the uh, installing the strange brakes on the front. Much like the RC comp front wheels, that's pretty much 16 pounds each side unsprung you know rolling mass yeah this is going to be a big deal again so you know you're talking about weight reduction in the right spots uh you know dead nose front uh you're talking wheels you're talking tires you're talking brakes yeah this is i'm just doing i'm doing the right ones i think so you guys enjoy this sort of content man hit me a like and uh give me a comment below let me know what you think if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe um if you want to donate something back to the channel be part of the channel uh and its membership Check out that join button below. The channel members have their perks to the channel, uh, early viewing and such. Stay tuned on our next video as we get the rear RC comp double bead locks and the rear brakes set up in our white turbo Fox body. So see you guys soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.